good morning, good afternoon, good evening time YouTube. This is your shipbox electric generator from Harbor Freight, 800 rated watts, 900 max. It, it does that when it runs, but this thing's got two problems. Let's check in the gas, Let's see if it smells decent, or it's varnishy, it's good. But first problem, since it was new, it used to take 20 pulls to start since the day I bought it. Thing was a pain in the ass. Even when it was warmed up, it was a pain in the ass. And the second problem after it was about six or eight months old is it lost magnetism and wouldn't put any voltage out. So I'll show you quick what you do with a big old fashioned DC drill. But gonna be something with a high torque but I give this a bunch of yanks this thing doesn't want to start before I break the pull cord I should be smarter than this <coughs> squeeze me wow that looked pretty cool on the scope so I take the air cleaner off I grab some carburetor cleaner. I'm not cleaning it. I'm just spraying it in there to light it up. Kind of like ether starting fluid. But it doesn't want to stay running. It doesn't want to pull fuel. I don't get it. It always did that hard start, but it would stay running. Now it doesn't want to pull the fuel. I think it sounds like a little dirt bike. Well, at least when it's sped up. <laughs> so here's my high amp drill. So I got my high amp drill now. If I can get it to stay running. I get it running, twist the drill, click the trigger on, and it recharges the magnet, or remagnetizes the generator. And it usually brings generators back to life for the meantime. But this one, you gotta redo it every friggin' time. But finally got it running better. But got it juiced up finally. It was able to charge that up. So it's one way you can fix a generator that's not putting power out. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And comment for. More ideas for shit to work on. Have a good night.